So I wanted to figure out a way to test the new Gemini um, features in Google, Google Apps Script, and App Sheet, following absolutely the uh, example given um, by you know a YouTube video that I that I saw. I wanted to be able to upload an image and have it uh, give me a physics uh, problem based on it. So you can see this is what the emulator looks like over here. Um, and so I've done just a few tests. So this is a picture of, it's kind of hard to see, but it's basically a tow truck sort of dumping off a container. And this is what it returned. So a semi truck is carrying a shipping container because it's so big, so long, coefficient of friction, and it even gives the answer. So I wanted to show how I did this. Um, and then maybe you know talk about ways you could extend it. So um, first of all, you have to go to the, um, the Gemini page that kind of explains how to do all the, all the stuff in AppSheet. I'll try to remember to put the link down below. Um, and really all you need of theirs is all the stuff at the top. So all of this stuff at the top you need to do. And you have to go get your API key. So follow the directions to get your API key, including the directions of how to use this little guy down here to um, save your Google API key. I'm not gonna show you mine. Um, so you need those. And then I actually think the only one you need is this one uh, down to here. I don't think you actually, I don't think it calls the other one. Does it, this one works? I'm not sure. Nope, yep. So you just need that function. You don't need any of the other functions because then I made my own function here, this app sheet Gemini vision. So it takes a prompt and it takes an image name that I'm gonna grab from app sheet. I actually pull the slash out. So that's what's going on right there. Um, normally in app sheet, when it saves stuff, I'll show you an example. Um, actually with the spreadsheet of this one. So it typically looks like this. It's like your full name of the um, app you're working on, then a slash and then um, a funky looking name, right? And so this FA4A0048 is like exactly the ID. And then I don't even know what this 015726 is. I, they say it's some sort of uh, representation of the date time, but whatever, who cares? Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm just looking for everything after that slash and using, uh, where is it going? Using um, get file, files by name. That way I can get the ID. So I know it's the only one, so I, I immediately do the .next uh, to grab the actual file, and then I get the blob, and I had to do some playing around here to make it work. I actually, and it might be a little overkill, but I actually grab it as an image JPEG, because I, because I know everything that comes from my phone is going to be. Um, and so it comes out as a JPEG, and then I, oh, this is a little bit redundant, um, and then I send it to, Call Gemini Provision, which over there, what they do to it is just a little bit more. They do this to it. Now theirs, they had PNG here and PNG here, and it, oddly, leaving this one PNG it worked. I actually thought I had changed it, looked back, and realized I hadn't changed it yet, and it was still working. So whatever. But this one, if you don't change this one, it fails. It says something like invalid image or something. So you actually have to change theirs, their line, the very first line of the call Gemini provision so that it says JPEG. And then to be consistent, I changed this one too. And it worked either way. So that's great. And then what I'm returning is just the output. So, oh, because they, they get the, the output. So what they're doing is they're, they get the output they do all of this crap because they know exactly what the JSON structure is going to be. So they know that, well, find the candidates and find the first one and then find the one that's the, the content of it and then the parts of the content and then the first part and just the text. And so, you know, it's a whole bunch of nested uh, JSON, but this is exactly how they did it to be able to, re to return the prompt that I'm asking for. So then I just return it. Um, and obviously if it's a bad file, I return bad file. So it gets returned. And over an app sheet, what that means is, so I'll just show you. I, I mean, I literally just built this um, spreadsheet that had an ID, the photo, the email of who the user is, and the prompt, which starts blank, and the date time. And what I did is I said, okay, well, make sure that the prompt is a long text and just go ahead and grab whoever the user is. Um, and, you know, for the date time, just assume that it's now. So when I actually built the, um, this plus, let me go there, if I show you what that view looks like, 
Uh, looks like we're staring at it. The only thing that I have is shown is the photo. And I also said, okay, once it's uh, once everything has been completed, auto submit. And then I changed it so that the finish view goes straight to the detail. Um, the normal here is go back, but I want it to go to the detail of that one. So um, once the image is saved, uh, then I had to run this automation. So what the automation does is it says, okay, hey, there's a new photo. And I really only wanted it for ads. Don't do it for deletes or updates. No conditions, no, no security filters. Just there's an image, let's go nuts. And then the Gemini call, you do this call a script thing. You have to find the file. So this has to be a standalone file. It can't be um, attached to a spreadsheet. So that has to be a standalone script file. I called mine Gemini testing. Once you do that, it actually gives you um, a bunch of functions to choose from. So these are all the functions that I've been monkeying with. I know which one I wanted to use. And as soon as you do that, it says, oh, well, I can see that it needs two parameters. And so I just typed in here, create a physics homework problem based on this image. So that's, I haven't done any playing around at all. Uh, I imagine I could do things like, and show the solution or something like that. And then the image name, I'm just grabbing the column that it fills out, which is this one here. So it's just, it's grabbing this name like that. And so once it does that, it does this return value. So, yep, there's a return value. And it's, I know it's just a string. So I say it's a string and let's see, convert it to, oh, I should do long text here. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna make a big difference or not. Um, and then it says in, f in future steps, um, use Gemini.output. So that now Gemini.output will be a like a variable you can use in future steps. So by the way, I'm gonna hit save here because it's mad at me. So then in the future step, I come down here and I say, well, update the prompt. But I, basically what I say is run a data action. So I did that here, run a data action, set row values, and then set the prompt equal to exactly what they told me to type here, Gemini.output. So that was cool. And that's it. So let's show it in action here. So if I go back to uh, the main views, um, I'll just do one, one that I've already done once before. I'm curious if it gives the exact same answer. So I'll do this uh, person standing there like that. Uh, oh no, I'll, I guess I'll do this one again. So if I hit add, I'm gonna go find an image. I think I called it trailer. And so you can see it's doing this orange business. So that is a little bit of the upload and a little bit of the calling Gemini. On my phone, this took, I don't know, 15 seconds. Um, I would guess that on the computer, it's gonna be a little faster. So it's done now, and it now has updated. Uh, here it is, so this looks the same to me. Oh wait, this looks different. What is it? So remember, the very last part of this is what is the angle of the incline? Whereas the last one, Oh, I think this is sorted. Last one said, oh yeah, the last one gave a whole lot more info. So apparently the exact same image, the exact same prompt gave two different answers. That's awesome. And so what it does is it builds, um, you know, it's just a card deck here. We can see all of the pictures and you can see the first, I don't know, sentence or so of the thing. And so the ceiling fan one I thought was really, really interesting because it really went crazy here. I mean, it, I haven't even checked it but it's kind of fun now. I can just take pictures. Oh, and look at that, it's using uh, Markdown. I didn't even notice it was doing Markdown. Um, you can take a picture of anything and get an interesting physics problem out of it. So I just wanted to show how I did that.